hello friends today we are going to discuss abstraction and abstract class in detail abstraction is the concept of object oriented programming that shows only essential attributes and hides unnecessary information the main purpose of abstraction is hiding the unnecessary detail from the user consider a real life example of a man driving a car the man only knows that pressing the accelerator will increase the speed of car or applying brakes will stop the car but he doesn't know about how on pressing the accelerator the speed is actually increasing he doesn't know about the inner mechanism of the car or the implementation of accelerator brakes etc in the car this is what abstraction is hiding the internal detail from the user if we consider another real life example when we send sms we just type the text and send the message we don't know the internal processing about the message delivery complex details such as what happens as soon as we send the message is hidden from the user abstraction lets lets you focus on what the object does instead of how it does it in java abstraction can be achieved in two ways first is using abstract class second is using interface using interface we can achieve 100% abstraction using abstract class we may or may not achieve 100% abstraction so today we are going to discuss abstract class in detail uh, now let's see an example for abstraction suppose we create a class shape and inside this class we have one method to draw and in normal method this method will have a body and implementation detail here now if we want to make this method as a abstract method so what we have to do we have to not provide implementation detail here so no implementation detail of this method will be provided here and we have to use abstract keyword before this method and now we have declared this method as a abstract method so we have to make this class also as abstract class okay so a class that is declared with abstract keyword is known as abstract class it can have abstract and non abstract methods and a method that is declared as abstract and does not have any implementation is known as abstract method if there is any abstract method in a class the class must be abstract now we'll take another class and extend this our abstract class so let's take a regular class here class rectangle we have to use this extends keyword here and our abstract class name and if any class regular class extends abstract class then in this class we have to provide implementation detail of all the abstract method of this abstract class so here we have to provide implementation detail of this one abstract method which is present in abstract class shape so here we give suppose our implementation de detail suppose we write here that it's a drawing rect angle now let's create another class that also extends the same abstract class so we can create one more class and using that class we will extend so here this class name suppose we take circle so if this class is also extending this abstract class shape then in this class also we have to provide 
implementation detail of all abstract methods of this class. So here we are having only one abstract method. So we have to provide implementation detail here. So here we have to write circle. Okay. Now, one more thing which we have to take care of that we cannot create object of this class. We cannot create object of abstract class. So it means we cannot instantiate this abstract class. So we can create object of these two classes, rectangle and circle. So let's define main function here. And in main function, we will create object of both the classes. So in this main function, we can create object of rectangle class. Suppose we create a rectangle R object. And using this R object, we can call this draw method of rectangle class. Same way we can create object of circle class. And using this object, we can call draw method of circle class. So when we call this draw method using this rectangle class object, then this method of rectangle class will be called. And when we are calling this draw method using object of circle class, then this draw method will be called. Okay. Now let's save it and execute. Oh, we got some error. Uh, I made some mistake. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's execute again. Yeah. Here you can see we are able to generate output. Now, other things which we have to notice about this abstract class is that abstract class can have data member, abstract method, method body, constructor, and even main method. So let's create constructor in this class, abstract class, so we can have constructor so here we have created constructor of this class and suppose in this we just print that shape is created. Similarly, we can have known abstract method also. It means any method with body also we can have in abstract class. So here we create a known abstract method also here. So here in this we print here suppose display shape. And we can call this method using the object of rectangle and circle class. So using any of these objects, we can call known abstract method of our abstract class. So let's save it and execute. So here you can see this program is executed here constructor is called and then this display method is called we can also have data members in the 
abstract class. So suppose we take one data member here. Suppose I take int i and I initialize it here only. And in this method, I print the value of i. Okay. And we execute this program. So here you see the value of 10 is printed. So here in this, you can see this is one abstract class. It contains data member, constructor, one abstract method, one known abstract method. Okay. So an abstract class can have data member, constructor, abstract method, known abstract method, and even main function also. And this class can have all abstract methods or abstract method and known abstract method. So let's summarize this. A class that is declared with abstract keyword is known as abstract class in Java. It can have abstract and known abstract methods. This is a way how we can declare any class as an abstract class, abstract keyword, class keyword and class name. A method that is declared as abstract and does not have implementation is known as abstract method. This is how we can declare any method as an abstract method. So abstract, return type, method name and semicolon here, no method body. If there is any abstract class, any, any abstract method in a class, that class must be abstract. If a regular class extends any abstract class that have abstract method, then the class must have to implement all the abstract method of abstract parent class, or it has to be declared abstract as well. And an abstract class can have data member, abstract method, method body, constructor, and even main method also. That's all about abstraction. Thank you so much.